what's up guys welcome back to destiny updates just a quick update for you today with a couple interesting things in it starting with the most interesting one as usual which is that destiny pre-order posters from gamestop have been leaked and we'll go over those now so this first one here you can see this appears to be the same creature from the official concept art as well as that sculpture i showed yesterday so perhaps this is like the main enemy in destiny i'm not sure we'll just have to see this next one here has a pretty cool looking piece of art it says from the creators of Halo, and that's pretty much it. Now here's the final one. Unfortunately, like half the text is cut off here, so we really can't read it all. But it appears to be pretty much the same thing we heard from the big leak back in November. Now this smaller image on the left, you can see it says $5 minimum deposit. It looks like what you would grab at GameStop to go purchase your pre-order. But this seems like it may be the official cover art for the game. We'll have to wait and see, but it definitely looks like it could be. So those are all the images, but if we go over to Joystick, who reported on the leak, they say that according to the documentation provided with the posters, Destiny allows the ability to create your own character and earn unique customizable weapons, gear, and vehicles in an always connected universe. The game is described as an FPS with cooperative and competitive multiplayer modes combined with public and social activities. Now that sounds quite interesting. When it says an always connected universe, that makes me think of an MMO. But at the same time, I'm not really sure. I kind of get the feeling they might be doing something different, sort of a crossover kind of thing. Seems like it might be a more of a standard FPS with MMO elements. I'm really not sure. Hopefully we'll know more on Sunday. This also shows that we'll be able to drive vehicles in Destiny, which is quite cool. That's something I was hoping for. And that we'll be able to play both competitive and cooperative multiplayer modes. Now, in the same Joystick article, it says the double-sided posters will be available as pre-order bonuses beginning Monday, according to our GameStop source. So that seems to hint that pre-orders will be opening up on Monday, the day after the reveal, which means we may even get an approximate release date since you can't really announce a pre-order without a date, so that's pretty cool. This is quite a bit sooner than I would have thought. I wouldn't have expected pre-orders to go up the day after the reveal, but I'm not complaining. Now moving on to something equally important, on the official Destiny Twitter, Bungie has stated, if you follow us on Twitter, you'll get to see the Destiny reveal before the rest of the world. Spread the word. So that means they're going to be revealing the Vidoc before IGN does. So definitely keep an eye on their Twitter this Sunday if you want to see it as soon as it's released. I'll put a link to that in the description. So that's pretty much it for today. The only other thing is that another image has been revealed from the Destiny ARG, and I'll show that here in case you're interested. Also, just a quick note, this is my seventh video on this channel. Figured I should point that out considering everything to do with Destiny revolves around seven, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, that's it for this update. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the latest Destiny news. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.